Hello. Um, before I start this uh, video with the topic at hand, um, I made a video about Arlie Ermey and uh, <clears throat> Milos Forman passing away um, the past weekend and um, earlier this week. Uh, Harry Anderson passed away, unfortunately. Um, I read that, where is it? Yeah, uh, probably find it a little later, but apparently he had, um, <clears throat> He had some, uh, like I guess, like a series of strokes after he uh, got over like the flu or something this past year, earlier in the year. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, Harry Anderson's best known for Night Court, as well as the uh, original It miniseries. Um, he was a talented actor, so it was like there's the three celebrities who passed away. Also, um, Barbara Bush uh, died as well. Um, regardless what you think of of the politics she had, or the politics of her husband or her sons or any of that, uh, it's still sad that a uh, first lady as well as a uh, second lady uh, passed away because, you know, she was a second lady when her husband was vice president to uh, Ronald Reagan and uh, Nancy Reagan. And they were uh, in the White House. But now with the unfortunate part uh, or like, I guess it's the sadness, saddest part of this video, aside, because this next part isn't really all that happy. Um, Mark Hamill actually says he's basically over with Star Wars. He's kind of done with it. Uh, or doesn't care, at least. And, um, you know, talk about this character and how I wasn't fond of how they portrayed Luke, especially since Luke was my favorite character. I wasn't fond of how they handled the character in the film. And Mark Hamill has made little quips here and there, saying very slightly like, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I don't like it either. You know, in a lot of ways, he was the, <laughs> he was saying, what many people of the public who are fans of the franchise are saying. They aren't fond of the direction as well as the characterizations of these characters from the original trilogy. Now he seemed to express such um, feelings that we all have. And I would say he's probably one of the biggest fans of Star Wars ever uh, since day one. I mean, he loves this stuff. He loves science fiction and fantasy and all that kind of thing, like Star Wars. He enjoys it, and not just as because he worked on it. It was just genuinely. Um, I would say of all the main cast members of the original trilogy, he would be the one who would not mind being typecast as Luke Skywalker. He's obviously not typecast. He is known for being the Joker on uh, the Batman animated series and other subsequent uh, shows and f films and video games to come after. But, you know, if even if he didn't get that opportunity, which did open up a lot more doors for him in the voiceover world... Uh, he doesn't seem to be the kind of person that would really mind, you know, 
just being known as Luke Skywalker. Never known for anything else, just that role. Typecast. But he wouldn't care. He loved the character. He loved the films he was in. And the franchise that he was a part of. He's like a diehard fan since, like, essentially, I guess you could say day one. And uh, sure, some of the dialogue he didn't think would, anyone would ever say. You know, I mean, yeah, it's space opera. Melodramatic stuff and things don't entirely make sense. But, you know, aside from moments like that, he didn't really mind. He didn't mind. He loved the films. He loved the, just the people involved in them. He just liked Star Wars. And now to hear him say he doesn't care if he's in Episode Nine, it's sad. I mean... It's like they've got the dude who was the face of Star Wars to say, I don't care about Star Wars anymore. That's a huge accomplishment to make. Because he was, let's be honest, the original trilogy, he's the face. He's the lead character. He is the main character we follow throughout the original trilogy. Even though now, you know, with, with the prequels, it's the rise and fall of Anakin Skywalker as Darth Vader, but the original trilogy, even with that in mind, and with that new viewpoint, it's still about Luke Skywalker. It's about his journey to become a Jedi. Um, let's, let's just acknowledge that. He was the face of the original trilogy. He was one of the hugest fans of the franchise before it became a franchise. And now you've got Batman the Vegas of the original trilogy to say I don't care about Star Wars now and I don't care if I show up in any capacity in episode 9 why make it's like what have you done I mean we know what what, what they've done but still it's like even if you didn't see all this kind of stuff going on you can still think like wow and I know this is a week late. This came out last week, but, you know, with Friday the 13th last week, as well as, um, you know, earlier in the week, we'll be talking about uh, early Hermie and Milos Foreman. No, I, this, this video wasn't made um, when I wanted it to be, but um, it's sad. It's, it's still just very sad to... Have the dude who loved this franchise now not even care if he is even thought of potentially to come back in the next Star Wars installment. That's that's just sad. I mean, I don't know really what else to say. It's like go on and on, but essentially it's like I'd be repeating myself, and I've d I do that enough on these videos, as I'm sure you know if you've been watching them for quite a while, but it's just, <sighs> sad to see, sad to see how, you know, first, you know, they wanted him to talk, for The Force Awakens, he was essentially lied to, because before he even got the script for the movie, they had him work out a lot to be, you know, very physically fit. And having them having him go to the gym so many times a week, he thought, wow, I must be doing something, you know, something really important. I'm going to be, they have, I mean, they, they wouldn't be just doing this, having me spending money and having me go to the gym for all this time for nothing. I'm clearly doing something, something really important, only to figure, find out he's just talked about throughout the entire film until you see him for like 15 seconds at the end of the movie. And he just turns around and just looks at the new main character. And kind of angry, I'm like, what the... 
I went to see the Forest Wickens. I wanted to see the old gang back together and doing cool stuff. Yeah, they'd be, you know, they wouldn't be the main leads anymore, but, you know, they'd be, still be main characters. They'd be important to the plot, right? You'd think so. Well, not Luke, no. He's important in age, but still any character development and stuff to be done with him was thrown out the window as well, so. You know, there's a, that was fun. Through that character. And then kill him off at the end. In such a dumb way, like, it's like it's, so many people don't, it's like, well, why'd he die? Yeah, cause it's like he wasn't really sick, it's like, what, the force? He, like, the force essentially sucked the life out of him. He used the force too hard or something. That's why he vanished. It doesn't make sense. It's, 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 it's stupid. I mean, he, he could still be a nine, you know, as a force ghost. I would like to see him finish out this trilogy, you know, at least have one of the lead uh, cast members be in all three films. I don't know, that's just me, but if he isn't, I understand also. I understand why he's feeling the way he does. Also, Disney's like they wanted him to talk and stuff. So when he would talk, he would kind of take some digs at uh, those in charge of the franchise and all that's going on. And then they wanted him to shut up. And now it's kind of like he's just like, ugh. He's just exhausted from this. He doesn't really care about it anymore. He wanted the original trio back together and having just like everyone do something. He, Harrison, and Gary. Well, then they killed off Han. Well, that can't happen. But then, same with Gary. Now she's she's passed away. I mean, yeah, there was a moment in The Force, uh, not The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, where they do have a, a moment. But it's like we don't want a moment. Just like we didn't want a moment with just Han and Leia. It's like, why can't we see these three characters back on screen at the exact same time as they are now, or then? When the making of Seven was, what, what, why? I mean, I guess we know the answer as to why, because, well, it's not how they want, they just not what they wanted. It to, to be this way, and so this way kind of uh, isn't that great. Oh well. I don't really know what else to exactly say. Except happy 420, I guess. I mean, hey, you know, it's something you look forward to. If it's not, well, hey, it's just another day. It's a Friday, so hey, I just hope you have a good day regardless. Um, maybe there are some of you who haven't even heard of this news, um, but it's a week old, so I'm sure if some of you are Star Wars fans probably know, but I guess there could be that possibility. Some just don't. Maybe some have tuned out entirely because of the new films and just aren't fond of what's going on, so you just tune out on anything regarding Star Wars. Um, but anyway, that's just how I... what I thought when I heard the news with Mark Hamill not caring anymore. It's sad. And all, that's all I've got to say. Hope you have a good day. Um, good night. Good whatever. Um, see you guys next time. Goodbye.